What is up, Crack and Bass crew? I'm going to walk through the different types of actions on your crankbaits. Crankbait fishing is a jungle and it's really hard to figure out. It took me a lot of years, but learning the different types of action has made a big difference in helping me know what crankbait to throw to catch big bass. And if you're struggling with bass fishing, too much information, way too many baits to choose from, confused by it all, go get on my Foundations of Secrets Bass Fishing course. It has helped so many people. Uh, people watch, go through my course three, four times because it's so good, it's helped them so much. So go get on that course and stay tuned. I'm gonna walk through the different types of actions for crankbaits so you can know which ones will catch big bass. All right, there's really four different types of actions, okay? And maybe five, six. <laughs> you got your shallow divers, right? They dive shallow. You got medium divers. They go like six to 12 feet. And then you got your deep divers, 15 plus. So those are the types of divers. Now you have what they call a tight wobble. Basically your crankbait is tight like it doesn't wobble very much lipless crankbaits have a tight wobble they really really vibrate a wide wobble is more of your round bills uh, and they just wobble really wide so wide wobble tight wobble you know stay tuned to this post because further down I'm going to show you how to choose which one of these types of actions but you need to understand the different types of actions so you can get the most out of your crankbait. So we went over the diving, we went over the tight wobble, we went over the wide wobble, and then the last two pieces, silent. Like most crankbaits have rattles. And unfortunately, sometimes in clear water, that is not good. Rattles can, that doesn't sound natural and fish don't like to eat them. So I've found that silent crankbaits often catch more bass than the rattling ones but there are times when the rattling ones will outperform the silent ones so there's silent there's rattling there's wide wobble there's tight wobble there's shallow diving medium diving and deep diving and those are the different actions of crankbaits so if you're struggling to know about this stuff and frustrated hearing all these videos go get on my secret foundations of bass fishing course it's going to transform your bass fishing and also stay tuned to this post because I'm going to walk through next how to choose the best crankbait. 